Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, giving my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today, I am very excited to be checking out Aeon Trespass, Odyssey Second Printing, plus all new content, epic one to four player campaign, game of adventures, base building, and tactical battles with giant monsters. Uh, I see that 9.3 on Board Game Geek. That's really impressive. Uh, Dice Tower Seal of Approval means it's not hot garbage. Some other awards. That's nice. Second printing campaign, so you're spotlighting that a little bit to me. That makes me feel more credible on the can you do it aspect of it. Main image, this is a big monster, this lady, bow and arrow, whatever. I'd like to focus on something else, but it's already raised $2.2 million. People are incredibly excited about this game. Now, what I will say is, I'm going to make sure on the can you do it aspect of it, I kind of look at it with a fine tooth comb, because someone I really respect, another content creator, was like, hey, what's up with this campaign? They're doing some stuff here or there, or the other thing where they haven't shipped out this, that, or the other, so I want to make sure I don't miss that. But, as always, when you go in the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. No. Seven and a half minutes, God. Come on. For eons immemorial, the Olympian gods lorded over the fates of all men. It was a golden age of beauty, justice, and good. But the gods grew conceited and full of hubris. One fateful night, their reach finally exceeded their grasp. They let something alien slip into our world. Something they could not contain or fight. All they could do was die. The world would follow suit. It's been ten years since the Eschaton event. Primordials now reign supreme. Unchecked by gods, unmatched by heroes, their mere presence enough to erase all life. No hope is left for Greece. Big monsters, you gotta fight them, got it. Please don't but be seven minutes of this. this is not a tale of cataclysm, nor of man's fall. This is a tale of taking back what is rightfully ours. A giant iron ship cuts through turbulence. I need to turn down the music or subtitles. It's a little loud. Who would see its mission fail and the hope of mortals extinguished? For it carries the only thing that can oppose the primordials. The only thing they fear. Titans. You must prevail. You must rise to the challenge and against all odds win. Arise, Argonauts. Arise and save all! Please show my components. Hey, it's there Mark we go. Kaminsky, the CEO and creative director of... In and personal touch. Like the start on... Well, let me rephrase that. I like... I like this. Studio. <laughs> Four years ago, we came to you, to Kickstarter, with our dream. This massive, deep, engrossing board game of giant monster battles in a science fantasy post-apocalyptic ancient Greece. And thanks to you, thanks to your support, we're able to realize this dream. So I like that they're showcasing the components here. It's a really bad video. Ooh, <laughs> we got the five Empress minutes Odyssey left of it too. It not have been made in any other way, but it did get made and it launched to universal acclaim, to award nominations, to glowing reviews from fans and critics alike. It garnered a 9.3 average rating on Board Game Geek, the highest a single master rated game earned up to this time. And maybe most important of all, it spawned a passionate, lively community. The only problem, Eon Trespass Odyssey sold out almost immediately. That's why we're back. We're back on Kickstarter with a second printing of the Eon Trespass Odyssey core game and a slew of new content, including a standalone sequel, 12 Sins of Heraclid. 12 Sins of Heraclid. There's been never a better time okay. the unique world of Eon Trespass than now. If you are new, back... So, do you mean standalone expansion or standalone sequel? Standalone sequel means it isn't compatible with the original, Standalone expansion, obviously different thing, uh, plus all new content. And so we're not even really focused on that at all. Like, that's not the thing here. We're focused on the second... Okay. Backer, please continue watching. Uh, if you're a returning backer, you can safely skip to this timestamp. Oh, that's so nice. I like that. Imagine ancient Greece devastated by a terrible cataclysm. The gods are dead. So mighty titans and... Lean With a compelling... There we go. Sorry, just this more theme. I don't care. Eon Trespass Odyssey is unlike anything you have played. 
it's the biggest campaign narrative board game out there with a compelling, mature story full of heart-wrenching choices and devastating consequences. It's a game about adventure, exploration, civilization building and boss battling, where the mechanics constantly change and evolve, keeping things interesting and fresh throughout. It's deep, rewarding and tactical game. It's like a video game or a tabletop RPG wrapped in a legacy board game package. And this is just the beginning. We've got so much more to share with you. So many more surprises for both returning and new backers. One minute per $250. No way. No way it's this much. No way. That, no. That's too Indian much. It awesome can't be genius. right. It can't be right, And Yogi. to start it off, let's watch this brand new story trailer. No, thank you. No, thank you, sir. Heracles Don't care. They have justice. And here's the thing, I get it, I get there's a great story here, I saw those books, I was impressed, I get the gist, I don't need this. Neither is available. They're so that's the, so that's that thing that it's not the main marquee, but it's another game, I guess. We've been building the Eon Trespass world for the better part of the last decade. The journey of the Argonauts and the Iron Ship oh is God. but one of many stories demanding to be told. The tale of the Heraclides that trying to undo his sins is another. And this new story is worthy of a brand new. If you don't watch this segment, I typically don't skip these videos ever. But this is just land, too much sea, theme. Air and beyond. New gear, so so. One whose content can be mixed and matched with Ato for ultimate modularity. Whoa, 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 okay. The past 12 scenes of Heracles is a standalone sequel to Odyssey. One whose content can be mixed and matched with Ato for ultimate modularity. So it's a standalone expansion. Okay, got it. I'm falling asleep. I am as well, but I can't because I'm on stream. Clarity. However, 12 scenes of Even though I've heard that actually it does gangbusters for the for your view count. Apparently the people watch when you sleep. It's weird. Heracles is not merely an extension of Ato. It builds on its premise while introducing new mechanics. It's called and an expansion. New concepts. New open world campaigns with new regions to explore in a non-linear fashion. A new journey system with new travel mechanics. A new character progression system. New crafting system. New economy model. Allies, annals, eidolons. New everything. And don't get me wrong. I think if I were a fan of the original, I'd probably be eating a lot of this up, aside from the theme stuff, but it's just... And this is just the summer starter box. The story of 12 Sins of Heracles will be told across four seasons, all of which will be revealed during this campaign. Also, alongside stretch goals, we'll be revealing new, daily, exciting, and most important. I like the video, not the greatest fault of people's attention span is greater than three minutes max. Here's the thing though. Every single one of these games could make a video that's seven minutes long and focus on their theme. And yes, maybe this is that one game where the theme is actually so good that it transcends. But importantly, how am I supposed to know that as someone who's never played the game? Content that will go into each of those boxes. Monsters, mobs, miniatures, you name it. Before we are done with them, these boxes will be bursting with content. And beyond that, I do like that, I will say, because that's a problem we've seen with a lot of Kickstarter companies where they don't show enough at the front. They're like, oh, we're going to reveal more as we go. Um, they're saying, hey, hey, I know you might be underwhelmed now, but trust me, by the time we get to the end of it, it's going to be great. Full there box. still more surprises, both for 12 Sins of Heracles and Odyssey, like the cross-game Fate Singer Titan expansion. These next few weeks are going to be super exciting, and I wholeheartedly invite you to go on this journey with us. Here's the thing. This video. Newcomer, not excited. Returning backer who loved the game, one of those people who like have it at an average of 9.3, I'm sure it hits the mark a lot more. I, I, I can see that. It's going to be wild. And I do love a personal touch. I honestly do. Because here's the thing. If you follow the original Kickstarter and you were invested in it for hundreds and hundreds of dollars, you know, it's just different. So after the video, do I want it? Yeah, I'm intrigued. I want to see a gameplay. I want to see how to play. I want to see the rule booklet. And I'm intrigued. Looks like a cool-looking minis game. That 9.3 is very impressive. 
Uh, so this is where we need to look, though. This is where we need. So can you do it? We got a whole oh my golly. We got a boatload of people here. We are a team of entertainment industry professionals, and more importantly, a group of close friends. We created our company to the unknown to tackle ambitious, unique projects to explore strange, beautiful worlds. Okay, got. It. Uh, we made stuff. So, Kingdoms Forlorn, Dragon's Devil, Aeon, Trespass, Odyssey, the original Monster Slayer. So let's check to make sure these things are out. People have got their stuff. 18,000 comments. Wow, that's a lot of comments. All right, so do people have this game? Big fall update. Last update from December 8th, 2022. Oh, no, that's just the one that's pinned. Adventurer's Bounty. So let's see what people had to say about this one. 162 comments. The time it's real. Big F update is here. We have everything. New art, new sculpts, new mechanics, new uh, blah, blah, blah. Odyssey Triumphs. Taken December by storm, but all the last group of orders have been processed, and we're expecting the last shipments to go out this week of the base game. So the base game came out d late December last year. People have been getting the game ready for almost three weeks now. Currently has a nine rating. is quickly climbing up the rating systems. If you have ATO rated, it will help us immensely. If you're still looking for your copy, hold tight. It's coming uh all the ui old demo version wow so this looks great like this is all really good stuff here like this is what you want to see as someone who has plunked down hundreds of dollars into your kickstarter project and it looks like they do a great job building brand loyalty here. Like, this is a really nice looking update if you're someone who's really excited about getting this game in the mail got it wow this is really long okay i just want to get to what people said about it this might be the longest update i've seen in a while okay minis miniature progress uh puppet k oh my god it just keeps going and going and going what's next what's indeed more monsters more clashes more stories more gear more of everything and by the way if anyone in the comments knows pm isn't even closed for kf the video is a bit long but the game is leading did i just close out no uh what's next update is the grace period finished today is that confirmed late to comment wish it read it all in set detail several times to get it all i'm impressed by uh love the ui changes most importantly the blend of modern design and old style the hype is unreal the update is really awesome so this is people just super hyped about whatever they're doing is it out though that's my question i don't even know yes it's delivered thank you yogi okay uh i was thinking about the night's journey since ato wave two is planned for the first quarter of 24 do we have a new date for kf for its second wave yeah they have amazingly brand loyalty whenever you have your customers using the acronyms for your like the the abbreviations for your thing and just talking like that that tells me that you have loyal customers between this and getting the original on trespass and even the new hercules oath sworn is on the list too and i bet their pm is closing soon can't justify spending the money on all this at once arg uh okay so it's out cool i'm gonna take <laughs> take people's word on this one what did they say it was gonna be out january 2024 no this was not out oh okay so this one's not out but it's not expected to be out until January 2024. And once again, great customer service here. Like looking at this update, they called it a big fall update. It was a big fall update. It was incredibly robust. Here's what we're doing. April, March, February. Okay, cool. So keeping them updated uh, every month so far this year, except for January. Who cares about January? Cool. So that one in the pipes, but great communications aeon trespass odyssey now i think what happened with this one and i'm not 100 percent sure is that they shipped out the base game but there's supposed to be more than the base game that's coming out and that part hasn't shipped out yet let's double check that oops this is the second printing update uh it's a second print update it's all exciting this is from yesterday and we only have six comments so it's not a flaming dumpster fire in here Whatever bad stuff that, that, that this person thought was going on, apparently their customers are not particularly worried about it. The Innocent Sight Wave 2 Miniature Proofs. Oh, so there's another wave. Isn't out yet, and yet they're pushing out the second print run. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Not great, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's not new. Golly, they just... They have so much in these updates. It's insanity. Wow, I can see how they get brand loyalty. I can definitely see that, and I can see why they have a seven-minute video. I've been emailing the new address that has been provided for around a month now, and my problem still is resolved. Is anyone getting replies? I also have the shipping config error. I was trying to buy the thing, four or five. I sent them an email. Let's see. I tried to update my address. Uh, I can update my pledge. Register something about shipping config. Please help. A quick question on the new Kickstarter. Will there be a $1 pledge? So not great customer service here. Okay. Let's check out the comment section. I back 70 plus board games on Kickstarter. This company has given the best customer service by far. Thank you, Sebastian. Because that, I mean, that's 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 70 companies. That's that's impressive. But I loop for a while. Can I still change my address? 
Uh, creator, creator. Which add-ons are... Com so, it, I think that's the thing. I don't think they have the second wave out, but... And they're moving on to the second edition. And I wonder... Mm. I wonder if they're going to push out that second... I don't even know. Let's get... Let's, I don't want to speculate. Any news with the splendid and well-deserved success fan, Trespass? I hope they have a relaunch for this game quite soon. Still waiting for the relaunch. So this one's out, too, and people are excited about the relaunch. I'm sure that one will be massively popular, too. So can you do it? Yeah, I was expecting something bad here. I'm not seeing it. It's, pa it's, it's past the sniff test for me. When you have brand loyalty like this, like, that makes me feel comfortable. Hey, I'll trespass it. So can you do it? Yes. Do I want it? Yeah, I'm intrigued. Honestly, the coolest thing I saw was those three massive books. I'd love to know the number of pages. I see the 9.3. That's impressive. Uh, Dice Tower Seal of Approval doesn't really excite me that much, but it lets me know it's not a giant pile of crap. Aeon's Trespass Island will become your board gaming holy grail. The tension that creates something like I've never experienced in a game before. Uh, the writing is top-notch and the story is fascinating. Okay. Boring box, why back now, 9.3 discounted price. During Kickstarter, we were offering the game at heavily discounted price, starting with 100 off the ATO core loan. Limited availability, so fear of missing out. You gotta get it, you gotta get it, you gotta get it now. And and I, I feel like they could definitely capitalize on this. Like, it's not like you're like, yeah, I'll just wait for retail on this one. Like, you're gonna go pick this one up at Target or something. Join the growing, passionate community. Have a say in how Aeon Trespass evolves and be part of the epic once-in-a-lifetime event of massive proportions. I can't miss that! Jesus, they have... They have fear of missing out at the crap out of me. And we're straight into the pledge levels. I honestly, I was expecting the worst. And I'm like, all right. The video, not my particular cup of tea. But if I'm going to splunk down as much money as I was going to splunk down on this, which I'm assuming hundreds upon hundreds of dollars. Yeah. So the pledge levels. You can get the Heracles. This is is so there are three main pledge levels heracles odysseus and mortal in short heracles will include the 12 sins of heracles summer core game box which is the standalone expansion i'm not going to call it a standalone sequel go get bad odysseus includes the odysseus umbral cyclist core game box which is what is that uh and then mortal includes both so that's the original one got it cool so this looks really clean and clear so this is returning backers 129 dollars and don't worry, there's going to be tons and tons of stuff in here. It's more than 150 hours of unique gameplay. That's a stupid com That's a stupid number. That's a stupid number. Like, immediately, that price is, okay, 129 bucks, and I'm going to get 150 hours. I'm never playing this 150 hours, but knowing that I could... Cool. This pledge is perfect for anyone who wants to see what Aeon's Trust is all about or is a returning backer and wants to only the newest game content. Box design, not final. I do like how they did this pledge area here. They don't have the long, sexy scrolling shot, but they did tell me in that seven and a half minute video that they're going to be revealing a whole bunch of stuff throughout the campaign. So Odysseus, this is the original base game, rated 9.3, Ian Hall, 300 hours of unique gameplay. That's so much. Whoo. Which one is everything? Fates is everything new. Odysseus is the one for OGAT, but you have to add on Psycho 4 plus 5. That's a little crummy that we don't just have an all-in, all-in. So the 647, that's the 647. Oh, there it is. There's 4 and 5. Okay. Uh, 700 hours of gameplay. Like, am I just going to get rid of every other game I have and play this? Like... Uh, this pledge is perfect for anyone to have all currently revealed content while also wanting to start playing as soon as possible. Uh, weighing, get three huge box weighing more than 70 pounds. And, and these, like, honestly, this is ticking all the boxes. I think, because I imagine the shipping's going to be stupid high, but when you mention the weight of the box, I feel like you can get away with stupid high shipping because now I'm like 70, 70 pounds? Okay, whatever the shipping is, like, whatever, 70 pounds. That's me literally shipping my 10-year-old child. That's that's my 10-year-old job. This game is the same weight as my 10-year-old. What in the hell? Kickstarter is just so... It's wacky. It's wackiness. Like, imagine just trying to explain to someone who's a non-board gamer, like, yeah, I backed this new Kickstarter. You're like, yeah, it's a 70-pound game. <laughs> it's going to pay $700 for it. Then we have Fates. The Fates Pledge is a limited, discounted pledge for all four seasons of Heracles, Summer Autumn, those that are yet to be revealed during this campaign. Oh, Huh. So this is like, for those who wanted to go all in on Seasons of Twelve Sins of Heracles. So you told me there were three pledge levels, and then there's four. That's kind of 
dumb, weird, not, I don't like it, whatever. I, that's kind of odd that there's not that all in pledge where it's this plus that. But then again, I'm, I'm right now I'm complaining that the 700 hours, the 700 hours of gameplay isn't enough for me. I need more. Like this is, this is just stupid. This is just stupid. Time to get rid of all your belongings and play this on the wooden floors of your empty house while rocking back and forth. <laughs> uh, it would be an empty house if I spent that much money on this game because I think my wife would divorce me. And that's not joking. Like, if I was just like, yeah, I'm going to splunk down 900 bucks on this or 800 or whatever it ends up being. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's more than that. So it's 592 plus to get these two boxes, I'm assuming there's an add-on section here. Um, you you may per enhance your basic bed by adding variety of gameplay or luxury add-ons. Once you decide to pledge, oh, luxury add-ons. Well, we haven't even got to the luxury add-ons. So this is the Pathfinder Titan expansion. This is, uh, wh why is it all this stuff included in just like one big robust all-in? Is this stuff not all-in? This is mini campaigns? Is an epilogue story-focused expansion of the Aeon Trespass Odyssey core game. The Last Home Campaign Binder and Tuck Box expansion? That looks pretty hot. I don't know what it's for, but yeah, cool. So Aeon's Trespass Odyssey Box expansion. Is this... This one's not... Is this is this something I'm buying in the all-in? Where's just the real all-in? Is there going to be a real all-in at the end? Is that that same box? So as long as she doesn't get half your board games. I'm going to have to sell them all to get this. Uh, oh my gosh. She can have half. I just get to choose which half. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be liberating. Not not getting a divorce, but getting rid of half of my games. And, uh, and Liam uh, has been in my basement. He can, he can tell you. There's some really bad games down there. Umbro Luxury Tiles Pack for Odyssey Core Games. I don't even know what I'm buying at this point. There's just so much. It's like if you just walked into a store that specialized in something you don't know about. And you're just like, what the hell is going on here? Uh, and I, now I see why there's not an all-in. Because... Like, there's just so much stuff. Oh, hey, there's the uh, there's the game. Oh, so this is not the game. This is a season of the game, which will be revealed on this date. And once again, I sound like I'm knocking this, but if I were a fan, like, if I were super excited about this, this looks great. I think they're crushing it on their fans, which is two people have posted it in, in the chat. They have backed a grand total of 170 combined Kickstarter projects, and both of them said, this is the best customer service. And I see this. This is how you build brand loyalty. Extended hub adventures. Six new adventures. Compatible with that box. How many hours of gameplay is it? I don't even know. Like, you're at 700. I don't even care. Eight new card incursion mechanics. Larger sin map. Cool. I don't know what any of this stuff means. I don't know how much I'm paying. Let's check out the pledge levels. So, 803 people... At the $1 pledge level, presumably they're going to be doing all a cart on all this extra stuff. The Heracles pledge, so this has 923. This is if this is if you just want that expansion minus two of the seasons. This is the Odysseus if you want the reprint of the highly acclaimed game, 247. The Fates final pledge, so this is if you want the new standalone expansion. I don't care, I'm calling it expansion with all the content. That's... 999 backers, one left of the thousand. Better jump on that one. Uh, 482. This is the Ernie's play. This is really, and this one's also. Uh, is this, is this, are these the same? No, this one has an extra box of something or other. I what in the world? So this has two. I don't even know. I don't even know. I thought you said there's three pledges. I very specifically, I complimented you on saying there's three pledges. Here's how they work. And then you unveil like way more. The mortal pledge. So this is uh, the, all the stuff. And this is the, um, all the other ones. These are, what the fuck? What is going on? This feels like Kingdom Death Monster. But just more bloated. And that's hard to say. That's a really hard thing to say. Like to out bloat Kingdom Death Monster. K uh, KOA Discord is going bonkers about it and likes they're speaking a different language. Yeah! I look at Kickstarter projects every single day for like 20 minutes to an hour. Because it's not just this segment. I, I, you know, I, I go around Kickstarter. I look at all the different things that are happening. This is so confusing. Um, Cool. Unlocks. Great. 
I normally I'd say to move these higher, but I don't I don't I don't know. And then there's daily unlocks, so there's unlocks and then the stretch goals. Cool. I just, it's so much. This is like and here's here's my thing here. Does it get bigger than this? Like where do we go from here? Like this feels like the top of the mountain that we could possibly sustain as a board game hobby. But someone else is going to try and do more. They're going to see this. They're going to see that $2 million, and it's probably going to end up with four, five, six, like some stupid number by the end, and they're going to be like, let's go even higher. Social stretch goals. Cool, we got those two. Love social stretch goals, and they're clickable. Great. I don't, I'm like, we're just unlocking stuff. I don't even know. This... This campaign feels just so much fear of missing out. It's it's astounding. And I feel they're doing a great job on it. So these are the full list of components for the original base game that's 30 pounds. Uh, miniatures, I'd love to know a number. But honestly, I, I, I'm just... And it just keeps going. It's so much. How do you grade a project like this? World of Aeon Trespass. Uh, so we're theming. Cool. I just want the shipping. Hard co-op. It's a tactical cooperative game. Oh, it's a co-op? Have you mentioned that yet? Was that on the marquee? Epic player campaign game and adventure. I guess it's a campaign game, so you kind of assume it's co-op. That's cool. No, it's cooperative, I guess. Even the people who play it don't know for sure. <laughs> Their comment section is full of questions like yours about what content comes with. Yeah! Because this is such a convoluted and confusing mess. This is a train wreck. Like, and it's getting to the point where I, I, I just, I don't like it. Like, I don't. Like, it's just, because I feel like it probably could have been organized better. Okay, compatibility. But first, let's get out of the way. But first, yes, first things first. Let's get out of the way. Odysseus and 12 sins of the fully compatible on a mechanical level. This means you can, for example, battle things from stuff uh, and mix and match. Of course, having gameplay content compatible is one thing. Facilitating this compatibility is another. We've got you covered on that front, too. Through this campaign, we'll have stretch goals and daily unlocks, which I already mentioned. Uh, that introduce new cards, components, and rules to seasons that will facilitate in-game, narratively consistent compatibility. So if we don't have stretch goals, it won't be as compatible as we'd like or something. I don't know. Nonlinear campaigns, endless anals. Uh, journey phase. I just, I've just zoned out, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm out. I'm zoned out. Take my money already, I think. Maybe don't. I just want a gameplay video, maybe, so I can see what the hell this looks like. I have never... Ooh, that looks cool. That looks cool. That gives me, uh, Seventh Continent and Time of Legends Destiny's vibes. Cool. That's neat. Um... Just so much. There's so much. Like, this whole campaign just feels fear of missing out. That's all it feels like. It just feels like, hey, we're going to confuse the living hell out of you. But you know you're going to be able to resell this for a whole bunch of money. So, um, yeah. What am I leaving? I don't even know what I'm looking at. It all just blends together. Each all-in comes with its own palette. Now that, I love pallets. Pallets are super useful. Use those in the garden. Uh, okay, we're just more stuff. This is a lifestyle game. And if you don't know what a lifestyle game is, <clears throat> that's a term that's commonly used for a game that you're going to spend a lot of time on. Like you're like CCGs a lot of times. Magic the Gathering is kind of like a lifestyle game. You know, X-Wing's a lifestyle game. A lot of these big minis games with... <laughs> Was that... 900 hours of gameplay, 700 hours of gameplay. That's so stupid. How many days is that? Uh, it's 10 days. It's like 30 days. So it take, So this is the perfect game to take if you got locked into a building for a month. Got it. Find the digital rule booklet here. Hey, that's cool. I was looking for that. What page is this? 600? Come on. I got to download it? I can't just... I don't want to download it. Ugh. No, I don't. I don't want. I don't care that much. Three to nine. Oh, okay, a review, early review. Yeah. Uh, where's just the gameplay? So these are Kingdom Life monsters. So that's the original game, right? Or is that the expansion? These are previews, right? 
I think. Kind of. The reviews, but they're not. That's These are actual reviews. Just where's the gameplay? First impressions. Ga learn how to play. Tutorial battle setup. Cool. So you're going to remove a number. Okay. How to play part one. First look. Don't care. Oh, there's a video dump. I'd love some quotes pulled out from there. Oh, here they are. I'm going to get this out straight away. Aeon Trespot is currently my favorite game. That's a great quote. Attention to the creator is something that I've never experienced in a game before. A game that almost puts Homer to shame. That one sucks. It's the Blade Runner 2049, the Aliens and Fury Road, blah, blah. Well, become your board game, Holy Grail, whatever. <laughs> Those quotes kind of suck. Shipping. Uh, the European Union, just how much is it? So, it's coming in two shipments. 76 to $87. Once again, it's a 70-pound game, so I don't even have problems with the game. This game is too large to preview. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, how would you cover it? It's nine, it's 300 hours. And I guess that's kind of like, I don't even know. Preview the first 40 hours. <laughs> Read through cycle-specific spotlights before they are moved to our homepage. Yeah, we would want this, uh, sure wouldn't want this story being too long. I'm just going to scroll in silence until we get to something that I feel is relevant. Are you kidding me? This is stupid. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. I I'm I'm at a loss for words. It doesn't happen very often. Uh, okay, cool. Well, I do appreciate the fact they put the shipping ahead of all that stuff. FAQ 44, please be organized, please be organized, please be organized. It's not, it's not. So if your question's question 43, you have to sift through 42 other questions to get to it. Cool. I feel like that's honestly the play here. And I see Mythic, and I'm not trying to compare that to Mythic Games, but I see Mythic Games do stuff like this, where it's just like, if we have so much information, especially on their updates, they have, some of them have like hundreds of updates, then there's no possible way that anyone could find out exactly what they want to a uh, bad stuff or good stuff which is you know it is what it is prime industry is available new argonauts and stuff new campaign goal let's see so and so you did this third day in for heart so we're talking about stretch goals we're talking about unlocks and i do appreciate the fact they're not doing an individual update for each one because that would be just insane i wish there was a pledge for the Ato expansion that qualified for all the stretch goals and early bird gifts, I understand the push for people to get the new game, but man, it's so much content. Yeah. Will extra Titans and Primordials fit in the main box like they did? There would be an update for that Nemesis system, how exactly it works? Yeah, I imagine there's so many questions here. They do have stuff. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff. Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for the amazing first few days of the campaign. We hope you're as excited about the new content reveal and more to come as we are. It's coming to the end of the workday for us here at the office. Most of our team are going to get much more needed rest of the weekend. We will still do some updates planned. Okay. So, final grade. Do I want it? Um, yeah, I'd like to try it. Like, I'd like if one of my friends had this game. I'll help them carry it in. Two-handed, because their back hurts. Uh, do I want it, though? Yeah, I do. Can you do it? Um, here's the thing. Typically... I say, oh, they've done stuff before. It's a second print run. I feel comfortable. But this is so much stuff. Like, there's so many things that can go wrong on a project like this. Just an insane amount of things. And if I just... How many of these can... I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, I think this game needs a Jaws of the Lion treatment. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, like, it's, 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 it's astounding. It's astounding. Uh, do I want it? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Can you do it? Yeah, I guess. How much is it? It's a lot, but gameplay-wise, what am I paying here? I get 300 hours of content for 100... No, it's not 118. It's... 
271 bucks. 292 plus the shipping. So we're like 320 or something. It's... Uh, I feel like it's too intimidating for someone new at this point. I play a lot of board games and I don't even want to touch this one because it's too much. Yeah. Yeah, and I have, I have like two games on my shelf where I have all in pledges and I've never touched them just because it's like... I don't, I don't even want to get into this. Like, I, like, I don't have the 16 hours that I need to even begin to know where to start to play this. But at the end of the day, the resale value on this, you got to think, is really good. So that definitely plays a role into it. The fear of missing out, they crushed it on that. Because once again, I grade this based on how I think they ran the Kickstarter. And... I feel like the fear, like, I definitely think this could be tightened. Like, I feel like this, this Kickstarter page could be massively tightened. I feel like that video could have been massively tightened. I'm going to go with a, 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 a B, I guess. I, I don't know. I just want to leave. I want to go look at some other game that doesn't have 70 pounds of games. <laughs> like, I'm going to go with a B, I think. Because I feel like if I did spunk down the money on this, would I get it? Yeah, I think it probably would. I think it's going to take a very long time. And is it going to be good? Yeah. Probably going to be very good. But nine, there's 900 hours of gameplay here. I want more content. Many backers want the same. The bigger, the better. I'll pay play this for years to come. And, and it's hard for me to judge that being a content creator. Because I'll play something a couple times, and then I'll put it on the shelf if it's good, or to great, and I'll say, all right, I can't wait to come back to this. And then I'll come back to it like once a year, if I'm lucky. This is not my style game. But if you're new to the hobby and you're looking for a lifestyle game, I could see how this would be fun to just dive into. Like, I really do. I see the appeal. I, I feel like if you're already taking that dive, I feel like I'll put it like this. And I like this analogy. I've used it before. Just to bring it down to simplest terms, let's pretend that this was a massive King of Tokyo expansion or a massive Dominion expansion. I would absolutely love looking through every single one of these things and seeing, ooh, what does this card do? Ooh, what's that card do? Oh, that's going to be neat. And thinking, oh, that's going to synergize with this, that, and the other thing. So, yeah, I'm going to go with a B. But this is still daunting, it's overwhelming, it's clunky, it's not a fun page to go through, but I feel like they did such a good job on the fear of missing out. B minus. I'm gonna go B Ugh, that video though. I skipped through so much of that video. Here's my question. How would I do it better? How would you do it better for what you're trying to sell? You know, I'm going to C plus. I'm 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 creeping down here. I've and it's mostly just organization, not having an all-in, that stupidly long video that easily could have been two minutes. Then you could say, if you want to get, just dig your claws into all the juicy goodness of this because it's 700 hours of gameplay. Go watch this other video right down here. Instead of just assuming that people are going to want to sit through seven and a half minutes of that. Yeah, I'm going to go with a C plus. Fear of missing out through the roof, though. Definitely a half-point grade bump up. Spotlighting the 70 pounds of games. Tons of spotlights on the miniature, spotlight on the gameplay. There's videos down there. But wow, this is this is just such a weird project. And I say, and I see, I'm serious. Where do we go from here? What will be the next project that's bigger than this? Because they're going to make millions of dollars, and there's going to be companies that see that. And it's just, oi. But let me know in the comments below. What's your final grade for Aeon Trespass Odyssey second printing? I need to smoke after this one. As always, if you enjoyed the content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 17,000 subscribers in 2023 to make it my biggest year ever. Bye-bye.